Hi everyone, I'm out straight from the Witzcave of Witzbiz.com with Remote Control Part 4. And today we're gonna control, remote control, this little buggy completely made out of Fisher Technique. If you take a look down the timeline, you'll see another video about the Funduino joystick shield, in which we use it to remote control it. But some time ago I came across this FS1000A and... XYMK receiver and transmitter. And these are modules that either come in 315 megacycles or 433 megahertz. This is the data sheet of the 433 megacycles. And if you can see, uh, it, it just goes again by another name, MXFS03, but it's the same transmitter with only three pins ground, VCC and text data. So you directly feed it from a digital output of your Arduino. Here we have the highly sophisticated uh, electronic scheme of the transmitter, which is quite easy. And, and now I understand why these things are that cheap, because this is not exactly rocket science. Uh, this thing here is an oscillator with this crystal as a base. So this crystal, in this case 315, that's nice because they it's the data sheet of the 433 megacycles wireless module and in the sheen is a crystal of 315. Okay, it's clear. Um, so these things come into types, either 315 megacycles or 433 megacycles, I said it before. So all that's operated and uh, all that's operating the transmitter is this uh, transistor and they use this transistor and you can see how dead easy the modulation is here for the amplitude shift keying, the ASK, to modulate your data simply with a second transistor by uh, well, switching the whole oscillator circuit. So there is no error correction, there is no different bands to be up, yeah, configured. So the conclusion must be this is that cheap because it's that simple. But does it work? Um, another thing that probably is not the case is that you can operate more of one more than one of these things at the same time because there are no configurations for bandwidth or frequency because the frequency is really rock steady defined by this crystal and the modulation is done simply by <laughs> turning it on or off in the rhythm of your of your data so quite easy but hey, didn't they have very easy technology when they went to the moon? And that succeeded. Okay, so after a little wait, I got this. Six transmitters and six receivers. Twelve in total. So this is a transmitter. And oops, I hope this makes any connection because the soldering is not that well. I think they ne never stripped the, uh, the coil very good. And it needs some clipping, as you can see. So the quality... Mm, oh, look at this. Here we have solder splatters all over the PCB. I hope they are not short-circuiting anything vital. And more clipping needs to be done there. It clearly states R315. That must be the crystal. Um, again, needs some clipping. Empty holes. I don't know if that's a good sign but this must be the crystal the big thing there make it oscillate on 315 megahertz take a look at the uh, receiver that's the other module and I also spotted some open dots there I hope there are not components missing I don't know what's the use of reminding me how to count to nine and here we have different form factors. So the overall quality is not that good and that made me think perhaps it's a good idea to take a look at other people's 
experiences with these things and the first thing I read is do not buy cheap version with missing parts hmm all right uh, that's not very promising here are some more reviews on Amazon here's someone who says it's good little radios but the next one is these are garbage horribly inconsistent inconsistent and most modules don't work at all and if they do work they don't work well oh gee well it looks like there's another four euros down the drain for me uh, don't buy these transmitter and receivers blah 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 it's all not working uh, solder bridges and a missing coil okay uh, it seems that my PCBs have the same problem first of all each transmitter came missing a coil and so they would not work took me hours hmm here's one from someone else who bought these things and oops what the <laughs> L2 was never fitted cannot possibly work all right yeah these are exactly the same as I have the only difference is that these are for 33 modules and I have the 315 modules and uh, here's that little scheme again we saw before and indeed this coil seems to be missing and it's used for feeding this transistor so that this oscillator will work in the first place so without this coil not much will be going on and it will not work okay and what this guy did is making his own coil so that's probably will be my first action as well between those two holes 0 0.6 millimeter copper wire two and a half windings I think I'll manage that but nothing we can't handle at the whisk cave here and well uh, I'll drill myself a hole for the antenna wire as well uh, with a frequency of 315 megacycles that must be around 23.8 centimeters if we go for one third of the wavelength if you have a 433 megahertz transmitter, uh, one quarter of the wavelength will be around 17.3 centimeters. And as you can see, I'll, uh, I made a coil in my, uh, in my wire so that I can shorten it. You'll probably find uh, very good instructions if you do some research on the internet. And what I also did is make a little bit stronger with a shrink tube and I fitted uh, some wires and left one pin sticking out to be directly inserted on the uh, digital uh, output of the joystick shield. Let's take a look at the receiver then. Uh, same antenna, fixed it a little bit with hot glue and I made some wires on it. Left one pin sticking out to be connected to data 10 in my case. Of course you can use any other pin. And as you can see, I use a um, motor shield for the buggy. But of course, underneath, you can't see it now, is that Arduino Uno that you can use as well. So if you don't use the motor shield, just connect this receiver to any digital pin that you might have. I use the digital output 3 up till 8 for my LEDs. And let's take a look at the other side, the transmitting side, that is. This is the real thing, the joystick shield with the transmitter fitted on D9 in this case. I use uh, the, the edge connector that's already there because I don't have a Nokia display at the moment. And this is the receiver side, the little buggy. And if you can see it, it's on D10 here. And I fixed some LEDs on the prototype board just uh, as a proof of concept to, to remote control those uh, LEDs. And if we look at the side, you see a sandwich of a Arduino underneath and then a motor shield and on top the prototype board with the LEDs. Of course, you can have any different setup as well. This is only my way of testing things. 
Um, let's see if we can make it to work and uh, we can really transmit things to this little buggy. So here we have our setup and as you can see, yeah, the LEDs are already blinking. So let me connect my little scope and yes, yeah, take a look at that. Signals going on there and that's a good sign. And as you can see, it's, all mo it's also working and I can control the LEDs by pushing these buttons. Little bit trains are transmitted, and now I'm very curious. I, I have also one of the modules without the extra cord. Whoa, this is very interesting. It also works like a charm without the extra coil. How is that possible? Let's take a look at signals. Yes, we have signals here. Hmm, this is very weird because I did not fix this PCB with my own coil. Was it working in the first place? And how is this possible? I uh, scratched the silk uh, screen and you can see a little component here. That is probably a zero ohm resistor or a SMD coil. I hope you can see. It's connecting the uh, empty holes. So there is a connection there. No need for an extra coil. So let's directly go to remote controlling this little buggy from the book Fischer Technique Roboter mit Arduino and as you can see it works so uh, if you have either a 315 or 433 module you can get it to work with this joystick shield okay remember to take a look at the other videos down my timeline and to give me a thumbs up if this video was in any way entertaining or useful to you hope to see you all very soon with my next video project See you soon and stay healthy!